Hey you guys and welcome back to another video. My name's Shaquita and if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Starting off, these are the skincare products that I'll be using to prep my face. And this is just going to be a nice, easy to do Valentine's, well the makeup look that I did for Valentine's Day. But this can really be used at any time for any makeup look, date night, you have somewhere to go. This makeup look would definitely be feasible for you. So I've been into the eye creams here lately, the Dr. Brandt and the Ola Hendrickson, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, I've been into eye creams here lately because I've been seeing a difference in my under eyes when I apply my makeup. And I've started to add SPF in my skincare also and I've been noticing a great difference in my makeup routine or my makeup application so I like to mix my SPF with my moisturizer per Miss Jackie Aina she advises us to so I gave it a try and it's like real legit real legit and now I'm just applying my elf poreless primer putty and then I'm just correcting my face with the Maybelline H I think it's called the H Rewind concealer and I'm using this to correct because as you can see it's kind of like orangey so those dark spots we want to make sure we tackle because we want our makeup application to be flawless for our date and I'm just blending it out with my new Real Techniques powder sponge and just to give you a disclaimer all products will be listed in the description box below so make sure you always 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 check that out and I'm just now correcting the setting I'm sorry the corrector with a little of my deep translucent powder by wet and wow Like my baby mama know how to take care of me get my baby problems you gonna regret everything so I let her know. now I am using the black radiance color perfect foundation stick in the shade cocoa bean and then I'm gonna use the other shade espresso in the same foundation stick and then the LA girl pro concealer in the shade fawn and those are the products that I'll be using for my face my complexion face products and I find that I use less of my products when I do it this way apply them exactly where I need them and then take my time and blend out each shade you'll see And also, I also take that color fawn to really define my eyebrows because I've been into the more natural, bushy eyebrows. But you'll see all of that later in the video. So I am going to start off with the shade Cocoa Bean. That one is like practically my skin complexion and I just use that in, as you can see where I'm blending it out now and on the sides of the color fawn and around the contour shade. So I'm just tackling that shade first and then once I tackle that shade then I'm going to do the contour shade which was that shade espresso and then we're gonna lastly tackle the highlight shade um, I just see that doing it in these steps give me a very flawless skin like natural look overall look that I'm looking for because you know you're gonna date less is more so you just want to make sure you stick as close to your skin complexion as possible or at least that's what I did you don't have to do that 
that's just what I do because I notice when I do my makeup like this, my husband really, really appreciates it. He notices it and I get a lot more compliments when I do it this way. So tell me what you think of this side by side action on the video right now just to kind of like speed up things and you kind of can see things side by side if you guys aren't feeling it then we'll go ahead and throw that idea idea out of the window i just want to you know kind of see what you guys think of the whole split screen action so let me know below what you think and yeah we gonna keep improve until this quality get exactly how I want it. I won't stop until the quality is exactly where I want it. She my white horse, she my medical. She like my baby mama, know how to take care of me. Get my baby problems, you gon' regret everything. So I let her know, gotta let her know. Came through the front door, I'll be ready for her. And if it's what you want, I'ma give it to you. And now you see why I prep my under eye lids because you guys like I feel as though it's a difference with me adding eye creams to my skincare routine because I used to have like a lot of a, a lot of little wrinkles under my eyelids and I feel like since I've been using the creams that it's made a difference in my makeup application and you guys I'm just pretty much feeling it I'm feeling myself and you just want to make sure that you use that sponge that you use to blend out your foundation color and contour and you just want to make sure everything all of those products are blended very seamlessly with your makeup and I'm also blending out that concealer under my eyebrows and as you can see it makes my eyebrows look very full very thick very defined like I just got them done and then on the right side of the screen we're just setting that concealer so it won't crease it won't move throughout the day you look nice flawless and airbrushed I've set the highlighted areas with the translucent scent powder sorry I'm going back in with the Laura Mercier translucent palette powder this one is white um, it'll help me get a more highlighted look to my makeup and then I'm just using a powder a press powder by Zuri and it's their flawless pressed powder it's the same color of my skin complexion I'm just using that to make sure that all of the complexion products come together and look nice and again very natural <music> to just basically create a natural nose contour because again this powder is closer to my skin complexion and then I'm just gonna go ahead and contour or set the well I've already set the contour but I'm just redefining it with a darker powder to all of the places where I contour and then like the right side of the screen I'm going back with that same brush 
no product added making sure that the powders are nice and blended together now time for the eyes i'm using the new huda beauty huda beauty um i believe it's the deep nudes palette and you guys i think it's like a purpley brown shade and it is highly pigmented you got to be very careful with it and then i'm going on top of that shade with a very like mauvey pink shade and then a blush pink up under the brows and please excuse my little honey bun walking in my video i normally do my videos while he's while he's at work but he's home for valentine's day yay and now i am just using the color pop brow mascara in the shade soft brown and then i'm going to underline my brows using the benefit cosmetics brow pencil We're almost done here. Just apply a little blush to the cheeks. And then I'm gonna use my powder brush just to blend in all of the powder products. Off camera, I applied my false lashes. And we're just setting the face right here. And I'll, don't forget, I'll list all the products below. I did two lip pencils to create my cranberry lip duo. And then next will be the entire look, the outfit for Valentine's Day or date night inspired. And I'll talk to you guys later. Valentine's Day inspired outfit. Top is from Burlington. Skirt is from Forever 21. And shoes are from Fashion Nova. And thank you guys so much for watching and see you on the next video. Bye!